A warm welcome to this exclusive interview where we feature Zesco United Ladies Head Coach and Team Captain as we build up to their Week 1 fixture. As you are aware, Zesco United Ladies is among us the teams that contributes players to the Copa Queen squad. So it's prudent to get their views and expectations of the forthcoming season, especially with the fact that they are now enjoying massive support from their sponsors, Zesco Limited. The team has full backing of their sponsors and CEO, Mr. Charles Kalala, who has urged the girls to close the gap between them and Green Buffalo's Women's Football Club. Led in the same players and you to make the matters worse. Some of our players stayed long time with the national team. So uh, it was so hard for us to, to, to win the, all the games. So uh, this this season we have players that will stand and the players that are ready now to, to compete. We have created, created competition in the team. We are ready to play. That's why we are ready now. We are saying we, we go for the top four. These players have brought to our competition in the team. All the strikers now, they are, they are, they are because everyone now is putting their foot because these are good players that are, we have seen that they help us. So everyone is fighting them. I cannot say much because I have never seen I have not seen this team uh, great, great forward. I have never had this team. So this is this will be my first time. We also extended our gesture to Endeni Roses FC, who will give us an insight on how they are shaping up ahead of their week one encounter, especially that they had a successful pre-season schedule where they had to test themselves against their arch rivals, Zesco. Zesco Roses being one of the season teams, had missed the title by a whisker last season and ended up finishing second to Green Buffaloes in the last campaign, despite starting pre-season a week before their first game, the gaffer will share with us his team's objectives and how the players are relating and blending as a whole. It was bad. You know, it has been a difficult year for Indeni finally, but the management accommodated us to start this league. It was not easy. We are starting this league on Sunday in Osaka at Indeni Stadium. I think this time we had enough time, the girls are prepared, they are fit. So for the first game, we will see them. We should be winning the game so that we market ourselves. You remember last time we came second. If we came number six, number seven, I think the company couldn't have taken us. But this time we will fight so that we, we are in top two, so that we also represent Zambia for the Kosafa women. I cannot say it's an easy game. It's very difficult. That team is stubborn when you are playing in the their home ground at the Independence Stadium. But our aim, the first game is very important. If you win the first game, the Mulao win the team. The Mulao is high, as you can see. Even at training, as, as they are training, you can see the way. Most of the games at our home ground, you are welcome. It's you to promote the girl, the girls. If you, every time they are shown on the, on TV, on your uh, online, most of the scouts they see them. It's better. We are welcoming each and every player which is joining us. Uh, we don't have many new players, but uh, the good part is we've got uh, a lot of young players which has joined us, and we are looking forward to give them. Uh, game time so that they can fit in so well to mix with um, <coughs> this time we want to work together it seems uh, last season we didn't start well because of the preparation was a bit down we started late to hold the teams that are in the super women's league we are the the, the least team which, which started late preparations but we, we pushed to come second green buffalo was third was first in the group that we had because last season, the league, according to the preparation which has been started this 2022 women's league, we are, we are very focused to at least to, to win the, the league title. 
despite the challenges that we had as a, as a team and so far so good the training is going on and we are heading forward to focus to the coming league which, which is starting tomorrow we are we are very focused to get the maximum points in each and this has been Ada, reporting for Bola ya Kumweso, giving you nothing but the best of Zambian football news. Join us next time for another exciting edition.